Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to create this beautiful quiz template using PowerPoint. We are going to make it highly interactive using PowerPoint VBA and we will also implement a scoring system for each question. Let's start from the scratch and carefully examine each step of the process. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let's start by designing this template by drawing a rounded rectangle shape and then removing its fill color. Next draw straight lines on either side of this rectangle as shown and then send them to back. Now duplicate this rectangle shape, reduce its size and create 4 such rectangle shapes to accommodate the 4 options for each question. Additionally, we will create another small rectangle shape to display the score for each question. Next format the background with 2 step radial gradient. Change the direction to center and then change the stop colors with dark shades of blue color. Drag and select all these outline shapes. Increase the line width to 4.75 points and then change the color to white. Next select the big rectangle shape and its lines. Change color to light shade of pink and then apply glow effect of 8 points. Similarly, format all other shapes with different colors of blue and yellow color. Finally, add the first question text, update the initial score as 0 and then add text into 4 below rectangle shapes with answer 1 to 4. Format the font, increase their size as per your requirement and then add the score text to finalize this design. Next save this file by selecting save as option, name it as quiz template and then very very important save this file as macro enabled presentation file. Next important step is to rename all these shapes so that we can easily reference them in our VBA script. So let's select the score shape, go to selection pane and then rename it as score. Rename answer 1 shape as option 1, answer 2 shape as option 2, answer 3 shape as option 3 and answer 4 shape as option 4. So we are all set. Next let's get started with VBA scripting. To begin with VBA scripting, let's first go to developer tab and then enable the VB editor. First things first, let's insert a module and this is where we are going to write our VBA codes. Let me minimize VB editor and PowerPoint, place them side by side for better understanding. At first, we will write VB script for wrong answer and then assign it to answer1 shape. As we have already renamed this shape as option1, we will use the same name to refer it into our code. And once this shape is clicked, it will do 4 changes to this shape. First, it will change the outline color to white. Second, change glow color to red. Third, change fill color to red. And fourth, change this answer1 text to wrong answer. So let's start by initiating a subroutine and then name it as on click wrong answer. At first, we will store this slide into a variable. Why? As we know, VB code executes only during slideshow mode and at any point in time, we can see only one slide. And this slide is technically termed as active slide. And in this case, it is slide number 1. So we can refer this active slide by hard coding it as slide number 1. But what if we have more than one slides? Say for example, slide 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10 slides. During slideshow mode, this active slide will also change from slide 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10 slides. So, if we hard code it as slide number 1, it will always refer to slide number 1, no matter which slide is the current active slide, which is not correct. So, to make it dynamic and refer it to always current active slide, we need to store it in a variable. 
So let's initiate a variable by name active slide and then dimension it to store the slide reference. Next, let's set this active slide variable to active presentation in that slideshow window and the slide which is currently in view. So whichever is the current slide, that reference will be stored in this variable. Now we will refer the active slide through this variable and then refer to all its shapes that too in particular we will refer to option 1 shape. Now let's format its outline 4 color in RGB format and then assign it a value of white color. Next let's copy the reference to same shape and then change its glow color to red by assigning only red color to 255 in RGB format. Again let's copy the same reference, change its fill 4 color to red by assigning only red value to 255 in RGB format. Finally, let's reference this shape one more time and then change its text as wrong answer. Now let's maximize the PowerPoint, select option 1 shape, go to insert tab and then click on action. Here let's choose run macro option and then assign on click wrong answer macro. Once done, put the presentation in slideshow mode and then click on option 1 shape. Now we can see all 4 changes are successfully done. Let me undo the changes and then save this file. Now let's see how to update the score in this shape and just as a reminder, we have already renamed this shape as score. So to update the score, we are going to subtract minus 5 points for every wrong answer and then change the value in this shape. So let's go back to the VB editor and now since the score is dynamic and can have any value before we update it, we will store the previous score into a variable. So let's initiate a new variable by name current score as integer and obviously it will hold the current value of the score. So before we update the new score, let's store the current score by assigning it a value from active slide, shape name will be score and then referring to the text value in this shape. Now this variable will store the text value of the score shape, but this variable must hold an integer value. So there is a data mismatch between text and integer. It is very crucial to convert this text to integer before we store it into the variable. There is a VBA function by name cint. It will take an expression as input and converts it into integer. Let's give this text reference as input to convert it into integer and then assign it to variable. Now we need to update the same text reference with new value and let's update it by subtracting current value by 5. Again we have the same problem here. We need to update the score shape with the text but the subtracted value will be an integer. So we have another function by name CSTR to convert this value into a string and then update it to the score shape. Now let's maximize the PowerPoint, put the presentation in slideshow mode and then click on option 1 shape. Now we can see all 4 changes are successfully done and even the score gets updated as minus 5. That's perfect. Next, we will further improvise our VB script. Let's first understand the issue and then improvise the VB script to fix it. Let's select option 2 shape, go to insert tab, click on action and then assign wrong answer macro to this shape. Now put the presentation in slideshow mode and then click on option 2 shape. Since we have assigned micro to option 2 shape, this shape must get formatted. But in real, option 1 gets formatted. That's the issue and let's try to fix it. I will undo all changes and go back to VB editor. The reason is pretty simple. We have hard coded option 1 shape into our script and that's why option 2 shape never gets formatted. So to make it dynamic, Let's initiate an argument into our submodule by name assigned shape. It's kind of a variable and it will hold the properties of a shape. So when we assign this macro to any shape, this assigned shape variable will hold the properties of that shape. Properties like shape name, shape width, height, 
outline color, fill color and so on. Now let's replace the name of option one shape by this variable and then refer to its name property. Do these changes to all four lines of code. Let's maximize the PowerPoint, put the presentation in slideshow mode and then click on option two shape. Now we can see option 2 shape gets formatted and when we click on option 1 shape even that gets formatted. That's perfect. Let me undo the changes and save this file. Again let's understand the issue and then improvise the VB script to fix it. Put the presentation in slideshow mode and then click on option 1 shape. Obviously, it gets formatted. Now click on option 2 shape and even this gets formatted. In real time scenario, user must be allowed to answer only once. So let's try to fix it. I will undo all the changes and go back to VB editor. Once we have formatted any shape as per the wrong answer, we can add something called tags to that slide using VBA. And this tag will act as an indicator for any changes on any shape. Now to add a tag, let's refer the active slide and then add a tag object to it. It takes two arguments, one is name as a string and the other is value as a string. Let's provide name as answered and its value as true. Once the tag is added, we will use it as a checkpoint before formatting any shape for the second time. So let's add a if condition. Refer to this answered tag and then check if its value is true or not. Let me close this if condition and now if this condition is true, we will display a message box stating that this question is answered. Please proceed to next question. Once we add a comma after this message prompt, VB editor will display a list of different types of message boxes and let's choose the VB critical in this list. Once done, next important step is to end this micro at this point itself by using exit sub command. So if the condition is true, message box is displayed and the macro will end at this point. Below line of codes will never be executed. Now let's maximize the PowerPoint, put the presentation in slideshow mode and then click on option 1 shape. Now let's click on option 2 shape and we will receive the message box and the macro will end here itself. And this is how a VB critical message box looks like with red color cross symbol. That's perfect. Again let's try to understand the issue and then improvise the VB script to fix it. Let me duplicate first slide two more times and change the question sequence to Q2 and Q3. Let's go back to slide number one, put the presentation in slideshow mode and then click on option one shape. We can clearly see the score gets updated as minus five. But if we go to slide number two, we can notice the score is still zero. Same is true with slide number three as well. In real time scenario, this score must be carried forward from all its previous slides. And to achieve this, we will loop through all three slides, pick the score shape and then update the new score value. Let me undo all changes in slide number one and then go back to VB editor. Now let's initiate a new variable by name SLD, which means slide and it will hold the reference to different slides as we loop through them. Let's use a for loop to loop through each slide and in each slide we will update the text in score shape with new score value. Now let's put the presentation in slideshow mode and then click on option one shape. Once the score is updated, we can switch to slide number two and slide number three to see the same score is updated here as well. Now since the VB code for wrong answer is ready, we will use it and modify it for correct answer and then assign both the macros to all the shapes. Let me go back to VB editor, copy entire wrong answer VB code and then paste it below as shown. First, let's rename this subroutine as correct answer. Let outline color be white. Change glow color to green by changing G value to 255. Do the same changes to fill color. Change the text to correct answer. And finally, 
Instead of subtracting 5, let's add 10 points for every correct answer. Once these changes are done, let's maximize the power point and assign correct and wrong macros to different shapes as per your requirement. Let's duplicate first slide two more times and then change the micro assignment in each slide. So finally, let's see how this template works. On first slide, wrong answer gets formatted properly and score gets updated as minus 5. We also get a message box on multiple selections. And now on second slide, correct answer gets formatted properly and score gets updated as plus 5 by adding plus 10 points to previous minus 5 value. And same is true with slide number 3 as well and score gets updated to 15 points. That's perfect and that's all from this tutorial. Thanks a lot for staying with me until end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment and let me know your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such tutorials. Stay tuned and see you next time.